Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal? Matching volume in Adobe Audition. Trying to keep the volume consistent over multiple audio and video files is a challenge, especially if they've been recorded at different levels, they're different uh, sounds, it's male voice, it's a, a female voice, sound effects, music. Well, Adobe Audition actually has something built into it called Match Volume. You can take all of your audio clips in and match it to be the same audio, regardless of what created it. Let's have a look. I'm going to start by bringing in these clips in here, and I'm in my media browser, and I could actually play them. From the writers of Valley. And I'm going to select all of these clips and drag them into my project. Now the panel I need is actually in the window menu. You have to bring it up. It's called Match Volume. And it comes up over here. I'm going to enlarge the window to see this. If you don't see the bottom area, you might have to move this up. So now that we get started, down at the bottom it says drag and drop the supported media files in here. Now I've got several media files in here and I could, for instance, have one of these, like let's say Dialog 9 is already ready to go and it's good and I can have the others match it. To do that, you, whoops, you to select the clips, everything except 9, drag it in, and down at the bottom I can choose this based on a file. And then I could pick number 9. What that does is it says number 9 is good, use that as a model for volume and then take the rest of them and match that file. But we can also choose a few other things. So let's go back, let's say 9 actually needs to be done so we'll drop it in here and let's look at all of these choices. The first one, ITU RBS1772 loudness, that's a broadcast standard. That's the uh, trying to get rid of the annoying commercials louder than the movie late at night uh, technology. So. Um, if you're doing broadcast, you might want to do that. There's a few other that are, are, are based on mathematical engineering, which is total RMS, peak amplitude, true peak amplitude, and loudness. But I'm going to show you perceived loudness. And, and all of these you can choose. It really doesn't uh, change much other than how it's going to process the file. What perceived loudness is taking into account is that human hearing is not like a perfect microphone. We don't hear the same on low range to high range. We actually hear less in the low range, less in the high range. So addition, as it's looking at the file, it's looking at the frequency of the file and it's, it's going to change the audio value based on the content of that clip. You can also tell it what the loudness volume is so I'm going to put my loudness at minus 12 dB. If you're new to audio and you're scratching your head saying minus isn't that below zero, we don't count from zero to 100 in audio. You count in decibels, and uh, minus 12 is a is a good uh, level for a lot of stuff uh, playing back, even on computer speakers. You don't want to go near zero. Uh, with these dialogue files because you start adding them up and before you know it, it's so loud it's clipping. So minus 12. Limiting means that it's going to stop any of the files from being too loud and it's got a look ahead and a release time because what we're doing here is, is Audition is actually reading the file and it has to turn things on and off, on and off, on and off and if you have that on and off too quickly you'll actually hear a pumping or you'll, you'll hear it stepping down. This is the default uh, look ahead 12 milliseconds and the release time of 200 so that you don't turn it all right off right away. That's a pretty good default. So all of that <laughs> really to set this up. So drop in the files, choose a match to, and then click the run button. And when we do that, you'll notice over here, it's, it's giving me all of this wonderful information. It's telling me how much it's done each file. So this one it's done plus 2.3, this one it's done plus 11, plus 10, and you'll even see some minuses in here sometimes if they're too loud. So let me double click on one of these and I'll play it. Get in. And then I'll undo that. And you can see that slight difference in that file. 
in this one. Don't get any funny ideas, Lancelot. And then when I'll undo that and turn that on. Now it's a female voice, so you can see that it's expanding it quite a bit because in perceived loudness, we're starting to get to the higher level in there. And we perceive that a little less. Who's Guinevere? Undo that. You can see a big change in that one. So bottom line is... It better be. We've looked at each one of the files and we've uh, processed each one. Adobe Audition has told us how much it has created uh, a difference in that original volume between those files. So this can really be a, a huge time saver. Uh, when you're done here, you just save all the files. If you're closing uh, Audition, it'll ask you to save all the files. Um, and then if, if you've got these already in something like Premiere Pro in your timeline and you're editing them there, when you save, you'll be updating inside there. So. That's the incredible match volume technique in Adobe Audition. Uh, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.